This training video provides the installation steps for the Avigilon Unity H6 Xbox camera. This camera incorporates our next generation video analytics, which can help to accelerate response times and improve overall security. The camera allows for flexible deployment by offering a range of lens options. This enables both short and long range capabilities. Note that the lens and camera are sold separately. Important safety information is detailed in the camera installation guide. The installation guide can be downloaded from the Avigilon website. Avigilon recommends reviewing the installation guide and the series of supplementary videos before installing the camera. The supplementary videos overview important steps for video analytic cameras, such as pre-configuration, configuring SD cards, mounting and aiming the camera, and more. This camera can be pre-configured in its shipping box. For steps to pre-configure the camera in its box, refer to the supplementary video or the installation guide. Ensure the packages are intact and there are no signs that the camera has been dropped or scratched. Ensure the package includes the Avigilon H6X box camera and the quick start guide. Ensure you have a small slotted screwdriver, a mounting bracket, an enclosure, or a tripod. These tools are not included in the package. Note that this video will demonstrate how to install the camera using a sample enclosure. A Vigilon recommends installing the optional SD cards into their corresponding slots before installing the camera in its desired location. The camera currently supports a single microSD card. The microSD card can be inserted into either slot for onboard storage. The card should have a write speed of class 10 or better. Lower write speed may result in poorer recording performance and loss of frames or footage. Ensure the microSD card is positioned as shown. Do not remove the card while the camera is powered on. Access the camera's web interface to enable the onboard storage feature. See the installation guide or the supplementary video for more information on this topic. The next segment overviews the steps for mounting the camera. First, locate the camera mounting points. The camera mounting points are shown here. Then, determine the mounting method, such as a mounting bracket, an enclosure, or a tripod. Note that these items are not included in the package and may be ordered separately. This video will show the steps to install the camera using a sample enclosure. Note that your enclosure may differ. Refer to the installation guide that is included in your enclosure package. In the following segment, let's look at how to install the camera into the enclosure. First, loosen the two screws on the side and open the housing. Next, unscrew the camera support located here. Ensure proper installation by aligning these mounting points. Fasten the camera to the support. Standard photographic mounting UNC threading bolts are recommended to ensure a secure attachment. Next, attach the camera support here using the provided screws. For cabling instructions using an enclosure, refer to the installation instructions. Close the housing using the two screws on the side. Place the sunshield on top of the housing and align with the mounting points. Attach the sunshield using the provided screws. Refer to the provided enclosure's installation guide for in-depth instructions on how to install the camera. That completes the basic steps to mount the camera into an enclosure. In the following section, let's overview how to connect the cables without an enclosure. Power must be connected using power over Ethernet or external power. External power may be connected using an external DC power source to the power connector block. If external input or output devices, such as door contacts or relays, are part of the installation, connect them to the input-output connector block. Next, connect a network cable to the Ethernet port using an RJ45 connector. If PoE is available, the camera LEDs will turn on. The link LED indicator will turn on once a network link has been established. Check that the connection status LED indicator indicates the correct state. For more information, see the lesson on the connection status LED indicator. If the USB Wi-Fi adapter application is required, attach it to the camera's USB-C port 
to access its mobile web interface. For more information about configuring the camera from the mobile web interface, see the Avigilon USB Wi-Fi Adapter System User Guide, or reference the Avigilon USB Wi-Fi Adapter video. This camera is compatible with CS and ICS lenses. Note that these are sold separately. Let's review the steps to attach a CS or ICS lens. First, connect the CS lens to the camera as shown. Ensure that the camera is powered on. It should automatically detect the CS lens. For more information on connecting the CS or ICS lens, consult the user installation guide. Zoom and focus the lens manually by rotating the elements. Loosen the adjustment knobs on the CS lens. Rotate until the lens is focused and the image is clear. Tighten the knobs on the lens once the desired image is achieved. Make sure not to move the camera in any way that could interfere with the manual focus, that nothing covers the lens, and that the scene is not pitch black. Finalize focusing the lens on the system page. For more information on this topic, refer to the installation guide. Next, the camera needs to be configured. For further details on configuring the camera, refer to the installation guide. If the device no longer functions as expected, it may be reset to its factory default settings. For models with an SD card slot, resetting the camera will not affect the video recorded to the SD card. First, ensure the camera is powered on. Use the firmware revert button located here to reset the device. Use a straightened paperclip or similar tool. Gently press and hold the firmware revert button for 3 seconds. Do not apply excessive force. Inserting the tool too far may damage the camera. Refer to the supplementary video or the installation guide for in-depth instructions on how to reset the camera to factory default settings. This completes the installation steps for the Avigilon H6 Xbox camera.